have finally reached 1,000 subscribers, guys. To show my uppermost gratitude, I'm going to show you a cool way to do light painting with your drone. First, you need some sort of light source that is small enough to mount on the drone. The red and green indicator light on the drone itself is good enough, but I'm using this bendable light torch I bought from Walmart for $15 for this awesomeness. And then rubber band to secure the light torch underneath the Mavic. What I did was that I laid the light flat on the ground and bend the torch while the Mavic is in the air after it takes off. So now you're ready to go, you just have to go out at night and get your camera set up and shoot away. I'm using GoPro to shoot the night lapse and here's all the setting if you're interested. For this application, I'm using Lychee app for the light painting because DJI Go app is very difficult to use in terms of setting up the waypoint and orbiting mission. Whereas Lychee app can pre-plan and save the waypoint and orbiting mission by simply tapping on the map. Here you see I use waypoint function to construct the number 1 and orbiting for the zeros. You can make the zero orbit uh, larger, bigger, however you want. You can save it and load it when you get to a location so you don't have to fumble through and then just save you more time. Then I was trying to be a little bit more creative just to make the star and the circle. I definitely recommend Lychee app when it comes to light painting in the sky. I will put the direct link of the app in the description below if you're interested in purchasing. Let's dive into editing. I use Final Cut Pro because it's easy to use, so just drag all the image taken from the camera directly into the timeline. By default, Final Cut Pro sets every image duration to be 4 seconds. So what you want to do is highlight all the images and hit Ctrl D or under Modify and select Change Duration. Same thing. Then enter 1 to make every single image to be 1 frame per second. Now you can see the footage becomes more coherent time lapse, but we still can see the light trail of the word symbol that we created. The trick to leave light trail is to make footage into the compound footage by right click and select new compound clip. Name it whatever you want. Now go into effect and search for trail and drag into the compound footage. You can always play around with the duration and echo to make the best effect suitable for your needs but the rule of thumb is to make it as long as possible and processing this will take about a couple minutes. After the trail effect is implemented, we can now see the number 1000 start to appear but the first two numbers seem to be fading away too early. If you want to let the light trail stay a little bit longer duration, the trick is to copy the clip when the first number show up and overlay the clip on top of it. And then select Lighten under the blend mode on top right. Then here it is, the perfect 1000 sub light painting. Enjoy! If you want to learn more, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Peace out!